This year's SHOT Show didn't turn out to be as big of an event as shotgun aficionados hoped it would be. What, with some of the biggest names in the firearms manufacturing industry being unable to attend because of COVID-19-related concerns? And it's not just the big companies missing. Many boutique-style shotgun makers weren't able to attend either. But, come rain or shine, SHOT Show will always be there. And we'll always see new firearms coming down the pike. Of late, there's been an emerging trend in the firearms industry, comebacks. Colt started this trend a couple of years ago with the revival of their Snake Revolvers. This year, one of the biggest comebacks is that of the Remington Model 870 as Rem Arms introduces the new Field Master. There are also models chambered in some not-so-popular shotgun gauges. Two of the more prominent types of these new introductions are duck guns, chambered in 16-gauge and 28-gauge. This reflects the continuing trend of manufacturers producing more and more small-gauge shotguns for waterfowl. More and more left-handed shotgun models are also starting to appear as manufacturers are becoming increasingly aware of how important of a factor I dominance can be for some customers when making a purchase decision. After all, left-handed people aren't the only ones buying left-handed guns. There are some cross-dominant right-handed people who buy them too. A lot of the guns in this gallery are brand new released in 2022, while the others were soft launched towards the end of last year. 2021 was quite a disruptive year, not just in shotguns and firearms in general, but in just about anything economically affected by the pandemic. In the past 13 years, SHOT Show has traditionally been a January event, and since shotguns from the latter part of last year were released not too long ago, we're counting them as 2022 releases as well. Hopefully, more new shotguns will be released in the second half of the year. Now, without further ado, here's our list of the top 10 new shotguns for 2022. Fab Arm XLR Chesapeake Fab Arm released a new version of its XLR gas-operated semi-auto shotguns this year. Christen the XLR Chesapeake, the new gun is a flat rib version of the XLR-5 waterfowler, and is modeled after the XLR Columba Palumbus that has been available to countries outside of the U.S. for a while now. A 12-gauge shotgun chambered for 3-inch shells, the new XLR Chesapeake's metal parts have a bronze Cherokee coating, with its stock and 4-end in true timber strata camo finish. Target versions of the XLR are known to be extremely accurate, highly reliable, and easy to maintain. These guns are also known for their light recoil, despite the fact that they only weigh 6 pounds, 14 ounces, which makes them relatively lightweight compared to other gas-operated semi-autos. Like all Fab Arm shotguns, the XLR Chesapeake features the tri-bore barrel, which combines a very long forcing cone along with an overbore and a tapered section towards the choke, which squeezes the maximum potential velocity out of every load and results in the tightest possible patterns. The Chesapeake comes with three flush-fitted tubes and one extended choke tubes. There are also southpaw models, all of which are available in either a 28-inch or a 30-inch barrel configuration. Prices start at $1,995. Retay GPS XL Retay is a relatively new player in the shotgun market, but their Turkish Inertia semi-autos are so well made and has become popular among duck hunters in the past few years. This year, they're releasing a new pump gun for budget-minded folks, the GPS, which is an abbreviation for Geometric Pump System. Retay touts this system as having a much shorter stroke compared to other 3.5-inch slide actions. As a budget model, concessions have to be made to the GPS XL to keep the price as low as possible. For starters, it comes with a 2-year warranty instead of the company's standard 5-year warranty, is supplied with only 3 flush chokes, and has no adjustment shims. The recoil pad is okay, and the Masse Mara Gordian Steel Trigger Guard is replaced by a plastic trigger guard. Additional features include a deep bore drilled barrel that replaces traditional hammer forged tube, a 3.5 inch chamber and lengthened forcing cones. The stocks come in black synthetic and camo versions. Full production is estimated to start in June of 2022, with availability ramping up sometime in September. The reported starting price is $419, which even with all the concessions made by the company, makes it a really good value-orientated pump action for the price. Benelli Super Black Eagle 3 28 gauge As duck hunting with smaller gauge shotguns is becoming more and more popular, demand for such shotguns continues to grow. 
In an effort to meet this demand, Benelli has released a shotgun this year in 28 gauge, the Super Black Eagle 3. And it doesn't chamber just standard 2 and 3 quarter inch 28 gauge shells. It also chambers longer 3 inch Magnum 28 gauge shells. Benelli has partnered with Fiaci, Heavy Shot, and Boss to make 3 inch non toxic waterfowl loads for this new shotgun which puts this 28 gauge shotgun on par with most 20 gauge shotguns. And while it definitely won't be a long range boom stick, it should be just right for ducks over decoys. The new 28 gauge Super Black Eagle 3 not just looks like most run of the mill shotguns out there, it shares most of the same features, but it's a little bit smaller. The Comfort Tech stock Benelli used for this model also further reduces the already modest recoil of the 28 gauge. Some other features of the Super Black Eagle 3 are Benelli's patented easy looking bolt system that prevents out of battery misfires, a beveled loading port, and a two piece carrier latch that makes it easier and faster to load the shotgun's magazine tube with those skinny 28 gauge shells. Finally, it will come in black and a variety of camo finishes with a price starting at $1,799. Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey this year, Mossberg announced the release of a new optics-ready 12-gauge shotgun to add to their 940 Pro family of auto loaders launched two years ago. Marketed as the 940 Pro Turkey, this new gun is designed for turkey hunters and is available in two barrel lengths, a 24-inch and an 18.5-inch, both barrels having a full mossy oak green leaf camo treatment. There are many things that set the 940 Pro shotguns apart from the competition, among which is an oversized charging handle and bolt release a beveled loading port with a redesigned elevator, hard anodized aluminum plunger, texturing on the forehand and stock, as well as a 1.25 inch adjustable length of trigger pull. The stock is adjustable with spacers as short as 13 inches, making it handy for hunters who prefer a shorter stock. In addition, the new Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey model features cuts in the receiver for mounting low profile micro dot sights, and for hunters who prefer to use the front bead sight, the company throws in a high-vis comp sight, fiber optic front sight atop the barrel's ventilated rib, which complements an X-Factor turkey choke system. Prices start at $1,120, which is not bad for a feature-packed Mossberg semi-auto. Browning Sweet 16 Auto 5 Wicked Wing Browning stopped production of their Auto 5 Sweet 16 shotguns three decades ago, but just this year they reintroduced it, and it was an overnight success. The new version paid homage to the original right down to its humpback profile, but Browning didn't really expand their 16-gauge shotguns a lot beyond that until this year. The new Auto 5 Sweet 16 lineup has something for just about everyone. They still have the original field model here, but they released a new version to pay homage to Browning's Lightning Shotgun from days of old. It didn't come as a surprise to anyone that Browning branded it as the A5 Lightning Sweet 16, as it has the same aesthetics as the original Lightning Shotgun with its gloss finish. Turkish walnut stock, and its rounded lightning style pistol grip. But aesthetics is where it all starts and ends because, at its core, it's still a Sweet 16 shotgun. It comes with all of the features of the recently reintroduced Sweet 16, among which is the Kymatic Drive operation, which uses the shell's recoil instead of gas pressure to cycle the action. This results in a more user friendly operation, and as such, these guns require the least amount of maintenance. Small parts like the bolt, the bolt slide, the shell carrier, and other important components are given a nickel. Teflon coating for added protection. Browning's Invector DS choke tubes come out of the box, and the Wicked Wings all have an extended tube. These shotguns come with a chamber that accepts two and three quarter inch shells. The available stocks are synthetic and foreign in Real Tree Max 7 or Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Habitat. The MSRP of these is $2,229.99, which is a little on the high end, but you do get what you pay for. CZ Bob White G2 Southpaw A budget side-by-side -side shotgun is not very common. Traditionally side-by-sides are made by hand, so the companies have not been able to take advantage of modern-day machining techniques to produce them. This is why side-by-sides are usually more expensive than any other shotgun type. But CZ's Bob White G2 changes everything. Prices start at a very low $675, which makes it highly affordable. But even with that low price, it still comes feature packed. The G2 is a reintroduction of CZ's Bob White, a highly popular gun for those who prefer side by sides over any type of shotguns. The Bob White was originally introduced in 2005, discontinued in 2015, and made a comeback in 2020 as the G2 lineup. This year, CZ added two new models to that lineup, one of which is the South Paw version. 
There are key differences between the original Bob White and the new G2. The most obvious would be the finish. The new G2 is a metal black chrome finish, which is tougher than traditional bluing and makes the gun attractive and more rust resistant. More importantly, various parts of the G2 as well as the receiver are now made using the latest CNC machining technology. The result is a gauge specific frame with the action size to the gauge and a lower cost of production. Franchi Instinct Side Plate Over Under Shotgun Franchi's most lavishly decorated model yet comes as the company's newest addition to their Instinct family of shotguns. The Instinct Side Plate. What sets this model apart from all other shotguns is its two side plates, one on each side of the frame. These side plates allow for extra room for case coloring. Each has a distinct American Gold Game Bird engraving. These elegant side plates complement the gun's AA grade satin finish walnut stock with the Prince of Wales grip and Schnabel forehead. Each of the two over under barrels measures 28 inches and each has a vented rib. The receiver is machined from a solid block of steel and has a color case hardened finish which makes it durable and increases its longevity. These Franchi Instinct side plate shotguns all come with a set of five extended choke tubes, along with a custom fitted hard case for easy transport. Costing a little more than $2,000, these are not exactly a budget friendly option, but if you're in the market for an authentic Italian made side plated shotgun, these are relatively affordable. You'll be hard pressed to find a similar shotgun from another Italian manufacturer that costs the same. Rem Arms 870 Field Master. Remington goes by a different brand name these days, now calling themselves Rem Arms. The company has finally decided to just stop trying to compete with Mossberg's Model 500 and other entry-level budget pump-action shotguns. Instead, take the high road with their new Model 870 Field Master. Strictly speaking, this isn't technically a new shotgun, but it will replace the old Express, which used to be a really good shotgun until the company decided to apply cost-cutting measures, which ended up ruining it. Featuring a grade-A walnut stock, with the company's classic wingmaster fleur-de-lis checkering, the Rem Arms 870 Fieldmaster continues to be a classic design, with a supposedly improved wood-to-metal fit and superior metal finish that's a lot more rust-resistant than the finish on the Express. This shotgun is more rugged and durable compared to the 870s of old. Also, it comes with swivel studs right out of the box, and the receiver comes drilled and taped from the factory to accept most aftermarket sight mounts. The company claims that the action bars on this new production are greatly improved, as well for smoother cycling. Other notable inclusions are IC, M, and full chokes in place of the single modified choke that came with the old Express. For the time being, the Rem Arms 870 Fieldmaster will only be available in 12 gauge and starts at $600. Winchester Super X4 Left Hand This year, Winchester is introducing a left-handed version of their Super X4. One of the really popular gas-operated semi-automatic shotguns on the market today because of the superb value it provides. At $979, you're getting a semi-auto that can chamber 3-inch and 3 quarter inch shells, which is insane considering some of the similar models from other brands can cost twice as much. As far as I know, this is the first semi-automatic shotgun for Southpaws that was made by Winchester. Other than the fact that this new version is a mirror image of its orthodox sibling, all Super X4 semi-automatic shotguns are built the same. The left-hand version isn't really any different. The receiver is made of aluminum and uses Winchester's active valve gas system for reliability. The model comes in two barrel lengths, 26 inches and 28 inches. Each has a vented rib, is chrome-lined for better longevity, and can use Winchester's Invector Plus choke system that comes standard with all Super X4 shotguns. It also has an enlarged cocking handle, bolt release, and safety that is reversible for improved ergonomics. Other notable features are the Inflex Recoil Pad for better handling, a glove-friendly control, a removable trigger assembly to make cleaning easier and faster, and a four-round tubular magazine. TriStar Bristol Side-by-Side 16-Gauge -side In 2020, Turkish firearm manufacturer TriStar Arms introduced their Bristol line of side-by-side -side shotguns. These shotguns are surprisingly affordable for what they are. They offer the functionality of a classic side-by-side -side shotgun, but the company didn't cut corners in the aesthetics department. For the price, these Bristol side-by-side -side shotguns are as reliable and as aesthetically pleasing as it gets. Just before SHOT Show 2021, TriStar released two new variants in their Bristol lineup, both in 16-gauge. These came in two versions, a pistol-grip model with a silver receiver and a case-colored straight-grip version. 
Each features two 28-inch chrome line barrels, a chrome line chamber, auto ejectors, a brass front sight, and a single selective trigger. These shotguns are built on 16-gauge frames and weigh in at around 6 and 55 tenths of a pound, the ideal weight for any 16-gauge shotgun. The stocks are Turkish walnut with oil finishes, which gives these shotguns a classic look. These guns have an MSRP of $1,190.